Hey there, I'm Dr. Shauna Dingman from Elevate Women's Health Center, and today I want to show you five awesome exercises for waking up sleepy glute muscles. Those are your bum muscles. Why is this important? Because the more we sit and the more we have sedentary lifestyles, the less our gluteal muscles are able to activate. And this is a really important muscle group for pelvic stability, and it can be a real problem in low back pain. So I'm gonna show you five exercises that will help to build and strengthen and begin to activate those glute muscles. And you can do them every day. Okay, so the first one is called a glute bridge. You've probably seen this before, especially if you do yoga. And all you're gonna do is lie down and you wanna squeeze those glute muscles together to form a bridge. You wanna bring that up. You should really feel that tightening here and in your thighs and across your abdominals. Okay, so you're gonna come up and come down and come up. Start with sets of five and work up to sets of 10 for all of these. The next one is called a bird dog or a pointer. So come into tabletop position where your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath your hips. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise, you're gonna point your left arm and your right leg. So alternating hands and legs, you're pointing and holding for two or three seconds. You're really gonna feel that in your low back, but you should feel that tightening in your glutes. And then you alternate. So now it's right arm, left leg, and hold. And then left arm, right leg. You're gonna do each side five times working up to 10 times. The next one is called clamshell, and this one is really easy to do wrong. So what I want you to do is just support yourself on your forearm, put a hand on your hip here, and all you're gonna do is open up that top leg. Now the reason I have you put a hand on your hip is because it's easy to go too far. See how my pelvis is now opening? You don't wanna do that. So you keep a hand there so you can feel when it's enough. And as you start to feel that pelvis open, you've gone too far, okay? So you're gonna come up, squeeze, and you'll feel that in this glute right here, and down. Do five of those, up to a set of 10, and make sure you do both sides. The next one is donkey kicks, and if you ever watched your mom do the Jane Fonda videos, or maybe you did them yourself, this is another one that's really easy to do wrong. So watch how it's done for pelvic stabilization. Okay, you wanna have your back in a neutral position. Your pelvis is neutral. You're gonna bring that leg up, but you're not gonna bring it way up. See how my back begins to arch and my whole pelvis rotates? You don't wanna do that. below the level of your knees. So your bum is going to go the below the level of your knees for your squat and you're going to be focused on grounding through that heel and then pushing up and as you push up you're going to squeeze those glutes. Squats are awesome. Everybody should be doing squats. So that is the fifth exercise here and again I'm going to stand up. You're only going to see me from the pelvis down but you'll see the movement. Okay so grounding through your heels here. When I say I want your bum to come down below the level of your knees, see where my bum is compared to my knees? That's a good squat. And you push back up, and as you're pushing up, you're squeezing those glutes. I can even spread my feet a little bit more, okay? So you come down and up, and down and up. And I would start with five of those, but you should be working up to 10 or even 20 of those every single day. And if you need assistance, you can always hang on to a doorway, like open up the door and hang on to the doorknobs as you're coming down and doing that squat if you need some stability there. The other thing is you can even just double up your mat 
to create a bit of a wedge under your heel, under your heels. That will create stability as well. So we've got glute bridges, bird dogs, clamshells, donkey kicks, and squats. Do five to 10 of those on each side, depending on the exercise. Make sure you do one round and then do the round again. And the only difference is with the squats, I would start at five, but I would work up to 20 on those. If you have any questions at all, you can put them in the comments, you can message me, or you can email me, drshauna at elevatewomenshealth.ca. Talk to you soon.